Uh, so, Ricky, thank you. Thank you very much for such a warm welcome. And uh, I think particular thanks to you and your team uh, in London, here uh, in Germany, for organizing such a, what looks like such a fascinating event. I'm really sorry I, I haven't been able to participate in more of it. I just got back from Khartoum. Um, and I was saying to Vera, I hadn't, hadn't actually been in Khartoum since the late 1980s. And, and I, when I arrived there, I thought I'd got on the wrong plane. Uh, I mean, that is a city that has expanded, I would say, tenfold. Um, and for me, it was a, a very appropriate metaphor of, of, for what we're discussing here today. I mean, urbanization is the future of Africa. Uh, Hit where we are in, in Addis Ababa, I mean, actually, by African standards, rather a small city, but expanding at an enormous rate, uh, offering huge opportunities for the 70 million people in this country under the age of 30, but also huge challenges. Um, and looking through your, your program, it seems to me that it, it, it's hard to imagine a more timely agenda than, than the one you have here. Um, cities are funny places. Vera and I are, are old colleagues from uh, Washington, and we were just commenting this morning that even though we live in the same city, we have to come to events like this to bump into each other. Um, I mean, I'm a Londoner, um, which is actually a, a collection of villages. Um, those of you who know London, even, even if you're born and raised there, you still get lost. Uh, and the only way you can find your way around is to join up either places where you've lived or worked or where your friends live, and then somehow to try and connect the two. And it, it often uh, seems to me that um, coming from you know, probably one of the greatest and certainly one of the oldest cities in the world uh, that is constantly evolving as London is, um, that we have many, many things to share, including the mistakes we've made uh, in developing London. Um, you know, we have... Um, underinvested at times, made some very innovative investments at other times. Um, it, is a, it is a melting pot. Uh, it is an extraordinary place to live, but also a very, very challenging place to live. I mean, five million people come into London every day and leave. And, and um, as I have the privilege of getting in my diplomatic flag car every morning, I just thank myself, think how lucky I am that I don't have to squeeze on the tube, which is what I have to do when I'm, when I'm back home. Um, so looking, looking at, at your agenda um, and looking at the sort of very august gathering of people, uh, it seems to me that, that there are a number of things that, that you should try and take away from this. Um, the first is, is that sense of community, those villages, joining them up, um, that, that what we do in, in big cities, which is no matter how difficult uh, we, we keep connections going, we make sure that uh, we have partnerships, that we share knowledge, share understanding. Uh, and my sense from these kinds of events is it's often those friendships, those connections, those professional relationships that you make um, that are the most important. So instead of just e-meeting, you can actually put a face to, to your, your colleagues around the world. I think the second thing is to engender a sense of urgency. Uh, Africa is urbanizing at a phenomenally fast rate. Uh, many people who arrive in cities live in the most appalling conditions. And I think there is, there is something uh, particularly jarring about urban poverty, particularly when you see cities that, that have these increasingly swanky middle-class neighborhoods, posh hotels like this, when you see people living almost next door with no electricity, no running water, no, uh, no sanitation. That's a challenge, but I think it's also an opportunity. It, because if, if people like you, who are the experts in urban planning, uh, can get this right, you can transform those poor people's lives far faster in urban centers than in rural areas. You can get services to them, you can provide them with jobs and employment and safety nets. Um, and I think the third thing um, is this idea of, of a global alliance for cities. Um, I mean, it's, it's fantastic that Vera's just come back from, from Korea. I mean, you know, they've, they've been through a lot of these transitions um, and I'm sure have uh, good and bad lessons to share. Uh, if we look across Africa, 
I mean, Nairobi, for example, is in a very different place from, from Addis Ababa. There are things that Addis Ababa has, has, has done much better than Nairobi, but also lessons to be learned. Um, and, you know, my own city, London, that has evolved over thousands of years, um, has, has many uh, things to share and, and um, positive and negative messages, which is why having this kind of partnership is so important. I mean, London School of Economics, my alma mater, um, uh, our German colleagues, um, the Alfred Herrhausen Gesellschaft, um, who are also participating, and critically, UNECA. It seems to me like uh, the perfect alliance uh, in order to, to take this agenda forward. So your program today is, um, I think, even more interesting than yesterday. I don't want to uh, preempt what Vera is going to say, but I, I have a, um, an inkling she'll be talking about uh, the challenges and opportunities of urbanization, how we can work together. Um, and my government uh, has, has for years worked on, on urbanization in Africa, um, originally a lot on slum development, but increasingly moving into really innovative areas like um, mobile money in slums, uh, which we pioneered in, in Dhanravi in Mumbai, and now has transformed large parts of, of slums in, in Kenya and elsewhere. Uh, how to get the kind of financing in that's needed, how to get um, sustainable transport networks in. So this is an agenda that, that is critically important uh, for the UK. Um, I'm delighted we can share our expertise as well. Uh, and I look forward to, uh, to hearing what Vera has to say and to seeing the readout of this important conference. Thank you very much.